Hello Cancer, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for September for the Sun or the Ascendant. Thanks so much for bearing with me and I'm sorry I'm delivering this a little late due to my recent health problems. This month begins enormously positively for you. The Sun is in the sign of Virgo, which is Earth. You're of course water, but if we think of the bed of a river, Earth carries water very positively. So your energy is going to be flowing and it's going to be around your ideas that you really have an opportunity to shine. Now whether you want to uh, tell people about a, a, a great idea you have for a book or you're attending an interview or doing a presentation or you're interested in digital media with your own website or blog, this is your chance to shine. But also the sun in this location can be very much about a physical desire to move around more. So if you've gone through a period where you've been a bit more sedentary or a bit more relaxed, this is a chance to be more active too. But as this month begins, Mercury, the planet that rules Virgo, is locked away in the sign of Leo still. And on the third of the month comes out of shadow. This means it gets back to the point where the retrograde began on the 26th of July. If there has been a financial issue that you've been waiting for a resolution around, it can start to, come, uh, start to move forwards in a much more productive way. But also, on the 9th, Venus, the planet of love and affection, moves out of an area where it's been seeing you more mindful of creating a very comfortable home environment into a much more playful, gregarious, and also romantic location. And this gives you an opportunity in the following 28 days to really create quite an impact on anyone you come into contact with. It's a playful influence as well. So if you are someone who's more social, this and the location of the sun, and also Mercury moving into Virgo on the 9th, and a fabulous new moon on the same day, all primes up an opportunity for you to be much more outgoing, much more interactive with other people, and that's something to really relish. Also, Jupiter, the planet of growth, which is already in the sign of Scorpio, once Venus sweeps in, continues an amazing angle to Pluto. There could be someone that you're connecting with at the moment who's having a major impact upon you. This could be in a romantic context, it could be in an inspirational sense. It could be just that you cooperate on some kind of creative venture, uh, handicrafts even, but you both seem to drive each other on and inspire and enthuse one another. And some good fortune can come from, for you around one relationship this month. But of course, Mars, the planet of drive, has been in your opposite sign since the middle of August. Now, it's going to relocate into the sign of Aquarius on the 12th of September. This is more passionate, it's a bit more feisty, and it's also going to be squaring up to Uranus. Now, if this rings a bell, it's because it's been happening off and on since the first or the second week of May this year. Uranus in Taurus, if you think about it, Taurus likes stability, it likes permanence, it's a fixed sign, whereas Uranus is the co-ruler of Aquarius, but also fixed, but is a bit of a free radical. It likes to shake things up, pushes us to be more mindful of our independence. And for you, it's in a part of your scope to do with friendships and long-term plans. And it's possible, since the middle of May, that some of your ideas have been a bit helter-skelter, uh, not necessarily very constant. And now it re-engages with Mars, there is the potential for tension, I have to be honest with you. In any situation where you feel penned in and you're not able to be a free spirit, you need to choose your associations. They need to be associations that feel that come naturally without any catches or holds or snags. Because over the last eight years or so, Pluto has been uh, informing you that it's important for you in relationship situations to own your power. This doesn't mean to dominate people, it doesn't mean to be unkind, but it means to have healthy boundaries. And of course Saturn is in this location as well, so Mars there through to the 
eleventh uh, day of this month suggests there can still be some activity around your relationship sector, but that link with Jupiter and Venus moving into the most romantic area suggests that if you're single, it can be a fine chance to mix and mingle, but just be conscious that you won't want to lose your independence. You won't want to feel control. You won't want to go into a deep bond unless it's really feeling right. Now, at the very heart of this month, also, ironically, Venus and Mars go into a tete-a-tete themselves, a right angle, a square. Between the 11th and 14th, something might not just work out particularly well around a relationship. For us all, a degree of patience is going to be necessary. But on the 22nd, Mercury speedily relocates out of the sign of Virgo and into the sign of Libra. Here Mercury is asking us all to think more about our listening skills, how we tune into other people, but for you it's in your fourth house, and there can be a tendency when Mercury makes its way through the fourth solar house for us to bottle up our emotions and not articulate how we feel very clearly. Also, on the following day, the sun passes into the sign of uh, Libra too. Now this is an opportunity for us all to be more diplomatic, to be more conscious of balance in our approach to things, you know, the usual Libran characteristics. But for you, it's very much about home, family, emotions, your environment, the things that are very much uh, a feature, an echo of your own uh, zodiac sign. So I think the last 10 days of this month could see you just wanting to reflect a bit more, move back into your normal energies, not perhaps be quite so outgoing and out there, and the full moon which occurs is also going to see you thinking very much about your work, where you live, how you live there, your professional responsibilities and commitments, balancing the work and life energies that we all have to grapple with these days is going to prove to be a little bit of a challenge, I feel. But as Venus comes to the end of this month, it also goes into an opposition with Uranus itself. Now, this is going to be fascinating, and there is uh, an opportunity here to sparkle up your situation in a more vibrant way, uh, to be a little bit more spontaneous. Um, and it does also, however, then go on to forge a much more stabilizing link with Saturn. So I think any chaos that does come out of the early contact between, I, I'm sorry, I should have said that on the 9th, Venus goes into opposition with Uranus. So as the month evolves, Venus then goes on to forge a much more stabilising link with Saturn. But I think with relationships, there is an opportunity for growth, for improvement, in all sorts of ties and involvements and associations. But there can also be a shakedown in the ones that aren't so good for you. And that more uh, homely feel that comes into your situation in the last 10 days of this month really is asking you to think about what you want, your own needs, to nurture yourself, to pamper yourself, and those people who are really important to you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'm so grateful for all the kind comments and suggestions uh, for the different things I can do with my rheumatoid arthritis. I really appreciate it. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to my channel. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.